So I have a 2004 Ford Expedition uh, and it's spring 2018 so we're approaching about 14 years old and here for the last couple of months really through winter um, it's been noticeably audibly you can hear a little slow to crank uh, or start in the morning a little slow to turn over so the question becomes do I have a weak battery um, bad alternator it's not charging the battery uh, bad starter so a couple ways you can go about it um, there are high dollar data loggers um, basically like a tablet from Snap-on and you see some of the pro mechanics use those in some of their YouTube videos unfortunately those are a little bit out of my price range um, there is a program available for your smartphones and tablets uh, I'm using it on an Android smartphone but it's called Torque and some very cheap Bluetooth connected um, OBD2 code readers and data readers and that just transmits to the app so you could do this manually under the hood with a voltmeter uh, but this way I can sit nice and comfortably in the cab I don't have to run back and forth so we're sitting here at idle and we're reading 14.3 volts and that's pretty good but there's basically no load the headlights are off uh, the blower fan is on but it's on low speed the radio's on but turned down pick our fan speed up let's turn our AC on how about our rear defrost Still holding at 14.2 volts. There's headlights. Here's driver heated seat. Passenger heated seat. Obviously putting quite a strain on the alternator. This is every accessory in the vehicle on at base idle. About a thousand RPM we're already back to full output on the alternator. Pretty darn close. Uh, so that would tell me this alternator is probably in pretty good shape. The odds of having both heated seats and the air conditioner and the rear defrost and the headlights and everything on at once are probably pretty slim. Here's just one of the heated seats off. There's the other heated seat off. Rear defrost off. Headlights off rear fan off and now let's do AC off so I think we can be pretty certain that alternator is putting out pretty good amount of power uh, probably pretty good shape so I'm going to turn the vehicle off and we see that battery voltage just drop so a 12 volt automotive battery really should be 2.1 volts per cell um, you'll have the top off charge so it'll read just a little bit higher but under any type of load it should hold 12.6 um, in other words if you bleed off that that top charge it should still hold 12.6 now we're showing 12.3 here and this is the reading from the ECU so this is not interpreted on the phone it's just displaying what's being read at the ECU uh, it's possible there's some voltage drop in the wiring I really doubt it, uh, but this looks to me like a bad battery. There's a possibility that we've got a bad diode in the rectifier in the alternator that's uh, you know, got a parasitic charge on the battery, but that should be a small load and that should take some time to discharge. It shouldn't be in an immediate fall off like this. And we can watch when we crank. And we can see the alternator immediately pick up and start charging. Again, a sign our alternator is good. So let's see how we did. Here's our uh, warranty replacement battery, uh, another never start, and we're up and running here. Now the battery was fully charged before we put in, so we're starting with a good fresh battery, and we're we're idling here. We've come down to base idle, so let's shut it off and see what our voltage drop is. And we're going to hold. Uh, you know, top charge there, 13 volts, uh, a whole lot better than that 12.4 that the old battery uh, did. So let's watch it under cranking load. <laughs> Hardly a tick. I mean, we might have hit 11 volts versus uh, we were dropping to close to 9 uh, with that old battery. So that old battery was only a year and a half old. 
maybe not even quite that old, a year and four months, five months. Um, but definitely uh, was a bad battery, and here we can see the proof in the pudding. A battery leak down or a draw could certainly over-discharge a battery and, um, you know, ruin a good battery and make it look like uh, what we saw here with the old one. Uh, if, if you want to know more about that, just a quick testing and look. There's a lot of videos out there. I've got one I'll link to here, and then from there I'll link on to uh, what I think is a really good one. If you found this video helpful, uh, appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks for watching.